guys welcome back to my channel i'm kahila or k and oh my gosh it's been like when did we get back home the 20th i think it's been a week since we've gotten back home from sweden and finally i'm like okay i've been editing so much it's so crazy how many videos i've edited i still have i'm editing one right now vlog number five out of seven so i have five six and seven left but these videos are going to be shorter than the first four thankfully hopefully fingers crossed because not a lot happened the last couple of days like not not a lot happened did i say not a lot happened not a lot happened and oh, i forgot to put on my watch anyway i after doing all of that editing is this crooked if it's crooked, oh my gosh, I'm going to be so upset, but I'm not fixing it, so. Anyway, after doing all of the editing and stuff like that, I'm like, bro, I do not feel like filming. Like, I filmed so much, and like, it's like I wanted to film, but I also, I just wanted to just have a little break, you know, after doing all of that, coming back home with all of this. <sighs> but now... I am very excited to film because I want to talk about this yarn, all of this yarn that I got. I want to show it off. So at first I was going to like separate like Sweden, Denmark, and Norway, the yarn I got in those three countries. But then I decided why not just make it one big old haul and just do it all together because one, it's easier, and two, it's a lot of yarn. So it's going to be fun seeing all of the different yarn that I got in one video. So I'm gonna separate it in countries. So it's gonna be Norway, Denmark, and then Sweden. And at first I was like, I could do Sweden last because I got the most yarn from there. But Denmark is looking pretty big. Okay, Norway is the smallest by far. Like, literally only four hanks from Norway. Did I say Norway? I hope I said Norway. Yeah from Norway, smallest by far. But I feel like Denmark and Sweden are like fighting for first place. But you know what? We're just gonna, we're just gonna leave Sweden for last because Sweden was the trip, the main trip. So it's just gonna be last. Anyway, and oh yeah, I wasn't looking at the camera because I'm looking at the yarn. It's literally right here, right here in front of me. So I could just reach out and grab it, okay? Anyway, do I have anything else to tell you guys? I don't think so. I'm going to be filming... I don't even know when this video is coming out. It's probably going to be sometime in October, and it's currently the end of September. It's... The 28th. The 28th, thank you. I was like... <laughs> I don't know what it... So it's Wednesday, September 28th, 8.25 a.m. Boom. I'm not turning my brightness down anymore, so... And yeah, so this is probably gonna be up like, I don't know, mid-October? It could even be the beginning, I don't know. We'll see, depending on my upload schedule. So I'm going to be filming a podcast episode probably sometime the end of October, the beginning of November, because these videos are going to be eating up October. So yeah, even with me posting twice a week. So it'll probably be the end of October, beginning of November, and I'm very excited for that one because I'm going to have a lot of finished... I'm telling you guys this now so that you're prepared. I'm going to have a lot of finished objects. I'm going to have a bunch of whips and... Oh my gosh, I'm going to have a bunch of yarn hauls as well because I have yarn coming in that's not even part of this Scandinavia stash that I got because I got yarn for other projects, but I'll talk about that in a podcast as well. <sighs> yeah, so the yarn haul, I'm not going to be, oh, this is the reason why I brought it up, because I'm not going to be talking about this huge yarn haul in that podcast. That'll be too much. It'll be too long. So I'm like, I'm having a separate video, this video, for you guys for that. I will probably show some of my favorite yarns that I got you know but other than that i'm not showing this entire thing again so 
buckle up, enjoy this video, and let's just get right into it. All right, guys, let's start with Norway. <sighs> okay, so Norway, I think we only went to two yarn shops, if I remember correctly. Also, I'm going to have a video. I don't know if it's coming out before or after this, but I'm going to have a video where it's just like time lapse -y, music over it, showing all the yarn shops that we went to. So, yeah. Anyway, I think we went to like two yarn shops in Norway. Don't remember. But by the time we got to Norway, I got most of the yarn that I wanted. So there wasn't really a need to buy more yarn. So I decided to just get yarn that would be hard to access here in the States. So the first one is a brand that I hear Inga talk about a lot. And it's Hillesvog. Okay. Every time I hear her talk about that, I'm like, ooh, that sounds rustic. <laughs> like, ooh, ooh, that sounds rustic. So I decided to just get some rustic yarns. So I got this right here. Oh, look at this color. Oh my God, I could eat it up right now. Are you serious? So I don't know how to say this word, so I'm not even going to pronounce it. But, the, oh, okay, let me, right here. That is what the yarn is. And let me see if there's some English to let you guys know what. Okay, 100 grams, 350 meters, and it says it's Norsk Pelsul. I don't know what that is. I'm sorry. I didn't think about how there would be no English on the labels when I was buying the yarn. But from the feel of it, this yarn is very rustic and it is wool, I would assume. And 350 meters each. So I was thinking I could do a little tee or top or slip over or something with this yarn. Get some mohair in it to soften it up a little bit. But honestly, I love scratchy yarns. What? Why is my... Oh, bro. So I put everything that I needed to do yarn wise in my calendar back to back to back and so my watch just started going off with notifications from my calendar and I'm like what is happening so thanks for reminding me this is great I needed that anyway so yeah I honestly don't mind rustic yarns and feeling it against my skin because I don't know the scratchy and itchiness just like <sighs> it makes me shiver which I don't know in a cold I like to shiver because then it's like, oh, I'm getting warm. I don't know. That sounds weird. Anyway, this is the yarn. It's so rustic. So I'm not going to be using this yarn for a while. I want it to sit there and be beautiful on my shelf. So, but I do know I want to do a tee or a slipover. So, yeah. Knit. Why did I say do? Knit a tee or a slipover. And here is the yarn again in all of its glory and beauty. And honestly, the camera is kind of picking up exactly what it looks like like especially when like everything darkens a little bit I don't know if it's gonna darken but I am obsessed with rustic maroonish that spectrum of yarn and it takes everything in me not to just get every yarn I get in colors like this on that spectrum so this is what I got from Norway from one yarn shop and then we went to another yarn shop and again I wanted to get yarns that would be this brand is not really hard to access here it's just expensive and that's saying something because I buy yarn without looking at the prices honestly don't ask me the price of any of these yarns because I just grabbed a yarn that I wanted and bought it without looking at the price so I could not tell you how much any of these yarns are unless it's knitting for olive then we all know how much knitting for olive is but other than that I could not tell you so I'm sorry but this brand right here Isaya oh I got so much Isaya because if I were to buy it from their website, the shipping would be astronomical. And I'm not doing that. And that's saying something. I'd rather spend that money, the shipping money, on more yarn, not on shipping. 
So my goal when I went to Sweden was to get as much Isaya as I possibly no, we're could. Swedish, you say Isager. 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 Like the Swedes, aka me, say. <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyway. So yeah, I decided to get some Isaya. So this is Jensen yarn and it is 100% pure new wool. And it's made in Denmark. It is 250 meters per 100 grams. And, oh, I got the same dye lot. I don't care about dye lots. I do not alternate skeins, hanks, anything. If it comes out and the, the color is like, what I say, muddled or something, I'm like, oh, wow, look, a style. Looks huh? great. Now, you know, when they're like, they don't want the color like being oh, all... Pooling. There we go. Pooling. <laughs> Pooling? Pooling? Probably. I'm like, I don't care. That can be like a, a, a new design, a new style. Something that makes it different. I don't know. I don't care about uniformity. Uniformity? Yeah. All right. So yeah, this feels so good. It is soft to the touch. Like, it feels rustic, but like a soft, rustic yarn, which is weird and also with this with this yarn I will probably make a tee or a slipover or a tank top something like that anything that I got with like two hanks if it doesn't equate to a sweater quantity I'm gonna make a tee or a tank or a slipover so that is the plan with this and like the other one this yarn is gonna sit pretty on my shelf for a little while because I have so many other projects that are sweaters that I'm gonna be knitting up this winter and I'm so excited to take you guys along this journey and after reading the chart and doing lace work for my chunky Dahlia which is currently blocking right now because I finished it mm -hmm. I also found the video for that it's probably gonna be out after this video is out so yeah after learning how to read a chart and actually knowing that I can do lace work oh it's a wrap it's a wrap I'm doing lace work I'm doing charts so my next few projects will be projects that have like charts and stuff like that and things that I wouldn't I wouldn't have ever thought I would do anytime soon so yeah that was Norway just those four I told you, it was small, super small. By the time we got to Norway, I did not need any more yarn, but I was like, you know what? I can get some tea tank slipover yarn in yarn that would be hard to access here. So that's it for Norway. Let's move on to Denmark. All right, so this next haul, I just grabbed a bunch of it that I got from one store, okay? This is the first store we went to, first yarn shop that we went to in Denmark. And we stayed in there for so long and we were like on a time limit. Like we needed to get to other yarn shops, but we just, they had, they had such a wide variety of yarns and it's, it's just, Oh, so great. So the first one I'm going to show you guys is actually yarn that is dyed by the people from the shop. So I'm like, ooh, perfect. Definitely yarn that won't be able to access anywhere else. So here it is. Here is the label. And it is... Oh, shoot. Oh, 400 meters. 437 yards and it is 85% superwash blue face Lester. Lester. that's what it that's how it sound that's how it's yep. wow that's sure. that's not how it's spelled okay anyway and 15% Donna Donegal Donegal what is that tweed oh Donegal is that, is that a tweed It's thing? tweed, yeah. yeah. How do you know Donegal is tweed? What? The, <laughs> what? I don't think I've ever heard of the word, but I am a little obsessed with tweed, even though you wouldn't know it because I don't buy a lot of tweed yarns, but that's because I have to be in a mood to knit with tweed yarns, so I'm not going to get tweed yarns, but I love the way it looks. Like, I'm obsessed with the way it looks and seeing other people knit it up 
and crochet it up. So this is the yarn. I got one hank so that I can make some Tweety socks. I miss knitting up socks. I was obsessed with knitting socks and now my one sock is just sitting there. Mm. That's only because I've, I've been obsessed with sweaters. So, I mean, I've always been obsessed with sweaters. But, like, I am on a sweater binge right now. Like, I just, I just want to knit up so many sweaters. Anyway, but yeah, some yarn. Just to be like, wow, I got this from Denmark. These are Denmark socks. So, wee! That is what I got. From there, also from that shop, I spied with my little eyes hedgehog fibers. Oh. And I was like, excuse me, I hear people talk about hedgehog fibers all the time. So I love hand dyed yarn, as you guys already know. So of course I had to grab some hand dyed yarn. Okay. So this is hedgehog fibers and it is sock yarn of course it's 400 meters 90 percent merino wool 10 percent nylon and made in ireland oh beautiful and this one is the same 400 meters 90 percent merino wool 10 percent nylon i have not had a sock yarn where that merino wool is so merino woolly 90 percent 90 percent merino wool with like with nylon and stuff like that Anyway, so I got two of the same colorway because I'm like, oh, this will be such a pretty, like, crop tee or slipover or tank. <laughs> like I said, if I got two and it's not a sweater quantity, it doesn't equal a sweater quantity, it will be, what do we say, kids? A tank, a tee, or a slipover. <laughs> so yeah this is so beautiful I just had to get it had to and then this beautiful color right here this is so pretty I'm like this has to be a sock this has to be a sock are you kidding me oh this looks even better on camera what the heck oh my gosh I'm obsessed but yeah here we go let's let's do the same with this one because ah oh, this doesn't hit like the red one I'm sorry but this is cute. But the red one just... Ooh, okay, wait a minute. Well, I might be doing something and my battery is dying. Oh my gosh. We'll be right back, folks. Hello, we're back. Okay, that was it for the hand-dyed yarn. So I got that. This is still from the same shop. Okay, still. So after that, I... Oh my god, I want to tell you they had such a great selection of yarn. I got... Bring, this Noro yarn, okay, everyone talks about, what is this? This is the Silk Garden Solo Sock, and everyone, everyone, everyone talks about this yarn, and I decided to finally get it, okay? Finally get it. I always pass it up whenever, like, I'm around Noro, because just the, the other Noros are just Noroing more than this Noro, okay? <laughs> But this is 300 meters each, and this will be such a cute tank top. Oh my gosh, and it's so, like, oh my god, the, the colorway reminds me of the ocean, like, just a Caribbean ocean or something, and it's just, oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So, yeah, most likely a tank top, because... Noro feels so good and I want to see I have a slipover in Noro I have a sweater in Noro so now I need a tank top in Noro so I was like this will be perfect so I got these two and it is 40% wool 25% silk 25% polyamide and 10% mohair and you already know Noro is not known for their crazy crazy fibers everything that they put together to just make beautiful fibers like who would think of putting all of that together and make it look good japanese yarn everybody beautiful so excited to use this this will be like summer yeah and then the last yarns that i got from that shop is I got a lot of sock yarn. What the heck? 
<laughs> I got a lot of sock yarn from that store. I think everything was sock yarn actually. But look at this, more Isaya. Listen, I told you, I'm grabbing them, okay? So this is Isaya sock yarn. And it is 40% Easy Wash Alpaca, 40% Easy Wash Merino Wool, and 20% Recycled Nylon. It is 387 meters per 100 grams. And if I can get a T out of this, that would be amazing. First of all, look at this color. Oh, it's like a beautiful jean navy blue. And it is so soft. Like, oh my gosh. It's so soft. And I really want a tea out of this. So I gotta find something. Is this fing- Yeah, it's fingering. Sock yarn. Huh. Let's see. Do I want a single strand? Ooh! That would be a lot. We'll see. I'll probably end up single stranding if I do a T. That's like three millimeter needles. I can do that. I can do that. I'm gonna end up the cumulus T. So yeah, I can do that. So that'd be cool if I can get that out of this. Oh my god. But we'll see. Of course, I'll let you guys know on the journey of figuring out what I'm gonna knit with that. So I still have more yarn from Denmark. Let me grab it. Of course while I was in Denmark, did you think I would pass up the opportunity to visit the Knitting for Olive store? Absolutely not! You must be out of your mind if you thought I wouldn't visit it, okay? And I went to the Knitting for Olive store. It was so cute! And it was so tiny, but it was perfect. Oh my gosh, just Knitting for Olive yarn everywhere on display. I might even insert a little clip even though I'm putting it in a yarn shop video. I just might insert a little clip to show you guys. It was so cozy and cute and I knitted on a little area on a bench on a little area that they had and it was just peaceful. Peaceful. It took all of me not to buy the entire store. Okay. Especially the cashmere. I didn't get any knitting for all of cashmere on this trip but Kalila did. Mm -hmm. So you, you're going to want to watch her yarn haul so you can see how beautiful it is. I don't regret it because that, that thing is tiny and I don't even want to think about what I want to make with that tiny yarn. Okay. Anyway, because it's a lace weight, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's lace weight. Yeah. Anyway, so while I was there, I, you know, I had a lot of, what, what's that word? discipline yes and i only got four skeins each of this beautiful beautiful colorway it is bordeaux most likely i'm pretty sure yep they're both bordeaux by knitting for olive and if this can yes oh my gosh look at that so this is merino they're fingering white and this is of course their soft silk mohair Oh, so beautiful. Like I said, I love this shade. Oh my gosh. So I only got four each because I wanted to discipline myself. And plus, Knitting for Olive is easily accessible for me. Like, I literally have two packages of sweater quantities of Knitting for Olive coming to me right now for two different sweaters. <laughs> so it's easy for it to come to me. It is, this is 70% mohair and 30% silk. 225 meters per 25 grams and this one is 250 meters per 50 grams and 100% extra fine merino wool and I'm gonna make the Friday slipover by Petite Knit with this yarn and I'm so excited because it's in broken rib stitch and I've never done broken rib before but I'm very excited to do it and experiment with this beautiful, beautiful yarn. And just imagine that texture with this color. Mmm. Mmm. So good. So yeah, this is what I got for the Knitting for Olive store. And it was so great. I can't believe I really visited a Knitting for Olive store. That's like a dream. Are you serious? Oh. Mm. Too good. All right. And the last yarn that I got from... Wait a minute. I didn't get this yarn from Denmark. What are you doing here? Hello. Only did it because you're paired with each other. Okay. My bad. Okay, no. I'm bringing you back. You have to You have to see. I can't show one without the other. So we're going to 
like segue into Sweden while finishing up De Denmark. Okay, great. Anyway, so the last yarn that I got from Denmark. Oh my gosh. I'm so glad we went there. I did not even know this yarn would be there. Okay, until Alexandra pulled her yarn. And then I was like, excuse me. And I went and I automatically saw this colorway. I didn't even look at any other colorway. Literally, no other colorway. I just, it's like I zeroed in on it. And then it was like calling to me. And it was like, oh, you know, the light shining around it. And it's like, come to me. I'm like, oh yeah. So I went to it and I grabbed it. The last four hanks off of that hook. And I got me some fat mohair by... Sister get okay, that's how I say it, that's how you're gonna take it, all right. And oh my gosh, if you know petite knit and you know this yarn, you already know. Yeah, yeah, I'm knitting up the marble sweater, okay. So earlier this year or last year, when did the marble sweater come out? This year. This year? So earlier this year, when yes. the marble sweater came out, pretty sure what, in January or something. I don't know. It came out earlier this year or the ending of last year. I don't remember. And she used this fat mohair with a strand of whatever yarn she used. And I was like, dang, where else can I get fat mohair? No one freaking dyes fat mohair. Like what? Where do you, where do you even get fat mohair to dye it? And couldn't access this yarn. So I was going to use some like drops yarn and like just like probably double strand some mohair or something and I was gonna do something I literally had tabs open to buy those yarns but I never bought the yarn like I don't even know why I was buying other yarn but I just never bought the yarn for the Marvel sweater it was meant to be okay it was meant for me to not buy that yarn and make the Marvel sweater so that I can come to Sweden I didn't even know I was going to Sweden at the time so <laughs> come on so then I got the fat I didn't even plan to get this I just saw Alexandra grab it and I was like, oh, I'm not passing up that opportunity. Are you serious? Are you serious? <laughs> so this is the colorway that spoke, sang, had me running. Okay, this right here. Y'all are my favorite color is green. I'm obsessed with especially like ocean green, sea foam green. Oh my gosh, especially on yarns. And then the brown in it, like this looks like mint chocolate chip even though that's disgusting but on a yarn that's beautiful come on come on oh my gosh so this is hand dyed yarn hand dyed fat mohair okay it is 78 percent mohair 13 percent merino nine percent nylon and 200 meters per 100 grams oh i'm so excited i'm so excited so i got this last yarn i is this last year that I got? It wasn't any follow up. It doesn't matter. But this is in Denmark. In Brunstreek. Okay. Thank you so much for having this yarn. Okay. So this is literally my next project. I finished my Chunky Dahlia last night. And I literally was like, I have to film this video so that I can cake up this yarn so I can start on it. So here we are. I'm showing you guys in Hank form. So now I can finally cake up all of this yarn. I have four of these and apparently three will be enough. But hey, if I can have one Hank left where it's literally just sitting there memorialized in my stash. Mm, come on. I, want it. I was like, or I could give it to you. Literally, when you turn around, I was like, or I could give it to you. <laughs> okay, I'll probably give it to you. But still, it'll be in her stash for a little while because she's not going to use it for anything yet. So, hey, it will still be there. Mm -hmm. So excited. And the other yarn that I was going to show you guys <clears throat> that is from Sweden now, actually from the last yarn. What's it for? Okay, let me stop saying stuff like no, it's no, true it? <laughs> because I don't know. I'm like, I, it probably was not. I don't it think. Wasn't. The last one we went to was the one where I got my Obi sweater on. Which one was it? Lila Gon Lila Gon something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know. I don't remember. Okay. This yarn right here. Wee! So I don't know what the heck this yarn is. I just saw Alex grab it 
<laughs> for her, mm, I was gonna say Monday, marble sweater. So I grabbed it. I didn't even plan to get this like color. I plan to get more of a beigey color because I can't stand like white, but this is more like a cream, which is also a color I can't stand in yarn. So <laughs> it doesn't even make a difference. But she grabbed it and if you haven't seen her marble sweater, check out her Instagram. I'll put it right here. Check it out right now because I'm pretty sure by the time I post this video, she will have that sweater up because she finished the body like days ago. I know she's zooming through those sleeves, okay? So yeah, she got this yarn, so I grabbed this yarn. And let me see, what is it? It is 100% oud. So I'm pretty sure that means wool, yeah. Especially by the, the sheep that's the picture on here. And yeah, okay, and it's 100 meters per 100 grams. So I got like six, six balls of these. And yeah, I am so excited. I'm gonna be using 10 millimeter. This video was supposed to be like 30 minutes long. Oh my gosh, it's not. I'm sorry to myself, the editor, me and to you guys, because I know I've been posting a lot of long videos and I don't even know why I apologize because I'm not sorry. <laughs> I'm not sorry to you guys, I'm sorry to me editing this long video, but not to you guys. I'll post a bunch of long videos as many times as I want. Anyway, this is the yarn. 10 millimeter needles, that's what I was saying. I'm gonna have to use 10 millimeter needles for this project and I have never ever used 10 millimeter needles for a project before. I haven't even used, I think the biggest I used was like, haven't I even used 8mm? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah. I think so. I think? Mm. Yeah. I feel like I just used 7mm. Yeah, I think it's just been 7 Like, I haven't even used 8, I don't think. So using 10, that's gonna be insane, but I'm very excited. Wait, let me hold these up together so you can see. Ugh. Right here. Ah, I'm so excited. Ah, oh, this is gonna be so great. And if you wanna see what the marble sweater is gonna look like, I will be filming a video for the marble sweater. So be on the lookout for that one because you think I'm passing up an opportunity to film with that fat mohair? No, absolutely not. So let's move on to more yarn from Sweden. Let's start with this since it's already used, okay? This yarn right here, this was the first yarn that I bought in Sweden and why does it look so used and abused and like, ew? Because this is for my Chunky Dahlia that I finished and I'm surprised that I have yarn left to even show you guys, okay? So I can't tell you the composition and the yardage because I have no idea, I do not remember. If you wanna know, just uh, watch my Chunky Dahlia video, which will be out at some point. But this is Sennis Garn Coos yarn and this is Sennis Garn Tin Silk Mohair and together I use it for my Chunky Dahlia. And wait, my Chunky Dahlia pictures should be out. It should be dried. So I will probably insert a picture for you guys so you can see what it looks like together with these two together because obviously this is not the same color but if you know me already, you already know I like mixing colors together that don't really match and that's fine it's cute so yeah this is this has alpaca in it this has mohair and wool in it and that's all I can tell you guys so yeah first yarn I got from Sweden and what should I grab next uh, okay let's grab these over here All right, so more yarn that I heard, more yarn from the brand I hear Inga talking about. Right here. So this is Hellholz und Spinderi. Something like that. And wait, what was the other yarn that I got? Oh, oh, that. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's beautiful. Oh, wait, this is different. Yes. <gasps> I thought it was the same brand. It's a different brand. Oh my gosh. Okay, she talks about this too. I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. 
and yeah this is I decided not to get a fingering weight yarn which is weird because you know I'm a fingering okay I should stop calling myself a whore for stuff but I'm a whore for fingering weight yarn okay and I decided to not get fingering weight yarn so this is 200 meters per 100 grams and this is when I was hold on hold on did I get this in Norway I don't know why I'm having a memory of Which me getting this did you get? in Norway what's that one called uh Oh, it has the two letters mixed together. Girl, Han, Han Barskarn. Yeah. Huh. I'm having a feeling that I got this in Norway, but no, you got we got that at the um, Garden Gon Gladja. Oh, we did get it in Norway. We got, I mean, Garantopia. I yeah, that. yeah, okay, Garantopia. so I'm like, I'm having a memory. Oh, yeah. sorry, Norway. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, got I guess I got more in Norway. <laughs> why did I put this in a Sweden pile? Uh, why did it take me so long? And why is this battery dying? Oh, I've been filming for 20 minutes, so I, I guess. No, it should not be dying. I did not charge these batteries. I'm back again. Anyway, I got this yarn in Norway. See, I thought this was going to be structured. It's not. So this is, I cannot read any of this, but it's wool and it is rustic and oh my gosh, it's rustic. It's rustic. This is going to sit on my shelf for a while. It's going to be part of the, what do we say? Tea, tank, slipover club. I don't know which one, probably more of a tank, crop tea. We'll see, but maybe, maybe a tank, honestly, but yeah. I decided to get this yellow color because I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I gravitate to green, blue, and red a lot, those colorways, and gray, but mainly green, blue, red. Okay, I'll add gray because gray mm -hmm. is, yeah. yeah. Green, blue, red, and gray. Like, I gravitate heavily to those colors. And I had something in my eye, so my eye like twitched weirdly. So I was like, you know what, let me grab something that's different from any of those. So I got, I grabbed this. Okay. Boom. Because I was like, when I grabbed that, I was like, this is part of my, like, last grabbing of yarns. And, and I was like, wait a minute, that was in Norway. Hmm. Anyway. Now, honestly, truly, truthfully, this came from Sweden. Oh my gosh, we went to this cute little yarn. All of the yarn shops were like cute and little besides the one where I got my marble sweater main strand yarn from. That was like a shopping center with yarn. It was it was crazy. Malika compared it to Hobie? Hobie. To Hobby Lobby or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I've never been to Hobby Lobby. So I always thought it was a tool shop tool shop. <laughs> So when people are like, they got yarn from there, I'm like, they sell yarn at a, at a, at a tool shop? <laughs> I never looked up Hobby Lobby. Anyway, this yarn right here. This is green. Yes. Part of my green obsession. Okay. But this is Gotland wool. Oh my gosh, I don't remember exactly where I got it from. It was that cute little yarn shop where you got your... Mmm, that beautiful. Oh, that yarn is so beautiful. I should have picked some up. Should have picked some up. There are many. Mm. Oh, and it was variegated too. Mm. That's a regret. That's a regret. But that's okay. Anyway, it's not like I needed it. Jesus. So yeah, this yarn right here is very rustic. It feels. It is. Is this single ply? It's like twisted in some type of way, but it seems like it's single ply, but bro, it's so rustic. You can still see the the hay and grass in it. So this is 70% Gutland wool, 30% Falkland merino, and it is 300 meters per 100 grams. 
and spun by Hellholt. Mm -hmm. What? I did not read that. That's cool. You know, it all comes together. So yeah, this is beautiful. Wee! And of course, two Hanks. Not a sort of quantity, so you know what it's going to be. Next we have... Let's go. Next we have this little Hank right here from Garn Glad... Gladia. I... Gladia. Gungladia. And oh my gosh, this smells like wool. Oh my gosh. Wow. It is from the one of the yarn shops that we went to. And it is 65% wool, 35% hampa. I don't know what that is. And it is 230 meters per 100 grams. I just got this because I can't get it anywhere else. And support the shop so it'll be sitting on my shelf for a while until i figure out what i want to do with it but it'll probably be a tank top this wool smell is strong oh my gosh wow wow that's wool that's wool that's the one, that's the one. <laughs> all right so next we have yarn from six gonna know which is the shop that alexandra works at and where I dropped a lot of coin because I got my mood bags from there. I'll show you guys that in a podcast episode. So I got two mood bags. Mood bags. Mood. Mood bags. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. And it's great. But oh my gosh. This is yarn from the store. And it is 195 meters, and I cannot read that, but it's wool. It's wool, and it's beautiful. And I want to keep it on my shelf because I got it from her shop. And it's rustic, very rustic. And beautiful. Like, you know, some yarns you just want to get just to have it on your shelf. And like, I, I don't want to use it for anything. Like, I just want it there, sitting pretty. You know? Also, from 60 Go to Note, I grabbed some... Why did I grab two of the same? Hold on. I grabbed more Knitting for Olive. Because when I saw this navy, it called to me and I was like, I, I must get it. And it's called navy blue. Both of them are navy blue. So, you can go. Look at that. Oh, stop it. Stop it right now. That's so pretty. And that's what I said when I saw it. I was like, stop. Oh my God, that's so pretty. <laughs> so, I grabbed these. I grabbed four each. So, I will also be making a Friday slip over in this colorway. So, as you guys know, the yarn that I got from Knitting for Olive, the store Knitting for Olive, the actual brick and mortar store. I got that maroon color. That'll be a Friday slipover. This will be a Friday slipover and it's going to be so pretty and I'm so excited to see it worked up. This is the merino, of course, 100% extra fine merino. This is a soft silk mohair, 75, 75, 70% 70 mohair, 30% silk. Beautiful. Beautiful. I just dropped one of my yarns. Oh no, I'll be back. All right, the next yarns I will show you. Boom, I got from Hunza. Hunza Design. Maybe that's just her Instagram. But this is her hand dyed yarn. And oh my gosh, her store is so cute and small. And I went straight to her hand-dyed yarn because I always see her hand-dyed yarn on Instagram. And I was like, I need it. I have to have it. So I got this DK weight yarn. The color is Heretic. And it is 225 meters per 100 grams. And uh, this is so pretty. Oh my gosh. I'm definitely going to try to get a tea out of this. Listen, it could be a small tea, a crop tea, some tea. But I want a tea. Like, look at this. And I only got two. But it's so pretty. 
Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with hand hygiene. Come on. Come on. So yeah. 100% merino wool. Super wash. So pretty. And soft. Alright guys. The last yarn that I will show you guys from my Scandinavian haul is one I'm so excited for. I'm so excited to make this into a sweater, you guys. You, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Boom. Oh, but that's not it. Boom. Boom. These two. Why does it look? This looks like a muddy brown green on camera, but this is like a moss green in person. What camera? You are not doing this justice at all. Are you serious? It doesn't even look green on camera. It is so green in person. Now I understand when people show yarn and they're like, man, I wish you could see this in person. I wish you could see this in person. Anyway, they're both Isaiah, okay? And this is 100% pure new wool, 510 meters. 510 meters, I got two of these, okay? And you know what? Sweater quantities, yes. This is going to be a sweater mixed with this. Oh my god. This is the Isaya Silk Mohair. 75% Kid Silk Mohair and 25%... Why did I say Kid Silk Mohair? 75% Kid Mohair, 25% Silk. 212 meters. I got five balls. One, two, three, four, five. Five balls, two hanks. This together is going to make the mossiest forestiest green sweater ever and I am so excited oh this feels a little rustic oh my god I didn't even feel it that much I mean that's cool but this right here let me tell you about this mohair this out of all the mohairs I have ever used which it's not a lot of mohair okay but okay knitting for olives mohair yeah knitting for olives mohair super soft so soft Wow, soft and fluffy, beautiful. Mm -hmm. This mohair beats it by like a bajillion percent. This is the softest mohair I have ever felt ever. And I have touched a lot of mohair. And this feels like a cloud. It's like legit a cloud. That is how I can explain it and how soft it is. So I'm excited to mix this soft with this little rustic-ish yarn and have the most beautiful sweater ever. I don't know what sweater I'm going to like make with that yarn, but it, it's gonna be the best sweater ever, okay? And I'm going to be careful in my selection of what sweater. So that's gonna be sitting on my shelf for a little while until I decide exactly what I want to use with that luxurious, beautiful yarn. Oh my gosh, like, pulling out all this yarn. I have so much yarn in my throat right now. Like I am like, oh my gosh, I am becoming a yarn ball. Like this is, woo, crazy. But anyway, that is all of the yarn. I thought this video would be shorter. I honestly did think that. I thought I could stop talking a lot, but I guess not, but that's okay. I like talking, which is why I film these videos. So take it or leave it, you know? That's all the yarn that I got from Sweden, Denmark, and Norway. This is great! I am so excited to add this to my stash. I'm excited to work with these yarns. Some of them working with right away, like the fat mohair and stuff. Some of them I will not be working with for probably years to come because I already have a huge stash, okay? My hand eye yarn stash, huge, ridiculous. I'm adding more to it today, actually. We'll have some Red Door Fiber Studio come in today. Let's go. Today? Yeah. Ooh. Right? And yeah, and then I have a whole clear humongous bag of yarns that that's not hand-dyed yarn that I put in there in the clear bag that I still need to use as well. But hey, I'm obsessed with yarn. I love yarn, so I will collect yarn even if I'm not going to use it for years because I, that's just me. It's my hobby my obsession and it's a healthy obsession <laughs> right
Anyway, that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what your favorite yarn is that you saw in this video. I would love to know. Let me know if you've tried any of these yarns before. I would love to know, especially the rustic ones that I got. I wanna know how you felt about that or how you feel in general about rustic yarns. That would be nice to know. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell because it will notify you guys whenever I post another video. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram because that's where you'll be updated on anything dealing with my yarn hauls, my projects, and any trips that I will end up taking, which I might end up taking another trip this year. So be on the lookout. And I'll see you guys in the next one.